Welcome everyone, Dr. Lindner here. Let's take a look at a little tissue review. So we've already covered um, four different videos on epithelial. We did another video on connective tissue, another video on three types of muscle, and a fourth video on the neuron. And now let's see if we can kind of piece it together and see how we do here. Um, so this is like a drag and drop. Uh, we have to choose between connective tissue, epithelium, muscle, and nerve. So let's go right down to the bottom. What type of tissue is composed of the neuron and glial cells? You heard me refer to them as neuroglial cells or neuroglial cells. Well, that's gonna be nerve tissue. Let's go up to the top. Uh, a network of specialized cells that monitor the internal and external environment and initiate commands throughout the body. Well, that's nervous tissue, right? That's like Houston control. What type of tissue is skeletal, cardiac, and smooth? Well, that's going to be muscle tissue. What type of tissue is distributed through the body that allows for the movement of the skeleton? Well, that's going to be muscle tissue. More specifically, if we wanted to choose, it would be skeletal. Okay, now the two that we have left is epithelium and connective. So which is the type that forms the surface of the layer of the body? lines the body cavities, even the, some of the organs, and makes up the glands, that's epithelium. What type is classified by the number of cells, the number of cell layers, I should say? Is it one layer or two? Is it simple or stratified? And the shape of the cell, is it cuboidal, stratified, or squamous? That's going to be epithelium. And which is the most diverse and abundant of all, that's going to be our connective tissue. Okay, then we know that when we talk about connective tissue, we had one, two, three main categories, connective tissue proper, supporting connective tissue and fluid. Under fluid, we focused on blood, red blood cells and white blood cells and platelets. Under supporting connective tissue, we spoke about bone, focusing on compact bone, we mentioned the osteon with that, the osteoblast and osteoclast, right? The relationship between the osteoblast and the osteoclast. The osteoblast builds up bone. The osteoclast breaks it down. And then we spoke about the different parts of the osteon, the concentric lamellae, the lacunae, uh, the canaliculi. So you could review some of those. And then for cartilage, we had hyaline cartilage, elastic cartilage, and fibrocartilage. Fibrocartilage was the intervertebral discs, it was the menisci, and even the pubic symphysis. When you study bones this week and you look at the pubic bones, between the pubic bone is the pubic symphysis. Hyaline cartilage, remember this was type two fibers, collagen fibers, and fibrocartilage was type 1 collagen fiber. And elastic is elastic, right? Gives it some flexibility. We'll go over some of the parts of the body that have more elastic in just a second. Connective tissue proper was loose and dense. These three fall under loose, and these three fall under dense. Remember, regular was more like um, tendons and ligaments, and irregular was the skin dermis. Remember, adipose is fat cells. Areolar is that layer between the skin and the muscle. So this was drag and drop, um, again, from the Connect McGraw-Hill lab quizzes in the past. Um, so under fluid connective tissue, is that if that's the main category, and then you have supporting connective tissue as another main category, and then connective tissue proper, Remember, supporting connective tissue is bone and cartilage. So you have compact bone, and then you have the one, two, three types of cartilage, hyaline, elastic, and fibrocartilage. Fluid connective tissue was blood and lymph. And then everything else falls under connective tissue proper. We had areolar, adipose, and reticular. And then we had dense regular, dense irregular, and elastic. This was loose, and these were dense. 
Again, now we have the four different types of connective tissue, epithelium, connective, muscle, and nervous. Nervous was nervous, right? So you can cross that one out. That was easy. Muscle tissue is smooth muscle, cardiac, and skeletal. Uh, epithelium, anything with simple or stratified has to be here. So simple squamous, stratified squamous, simple columnar, and pseudo stratified. Squamous refers to the shape. Columnar refers to the shape. What do we have left? Connective tissue. Areolar, adipose, elastic cartilage, right? Elastic cartilage. This is uh, under supporting. Compact bone, under supporting. Hyaline cartilage, under supporting. Areolar and adipose, that falls under loose connective tissue. Proper. Uh, hyaline cartilage, elastic cartilage, and fibrocartilage. This is where they're going to be found. So fibrocartilage, strongest cartilage in the body. Uh, these are type 1 collagen fibers. Hyaline cartilage are type 2 fibers. So the strongest ones are found in the intervertebral discs, the menisci of the knee, and the pubic symphysis. The hyaline cartilage, this is going to be found, these are the ones that are could be associated with degenerative joint disease, primarily because they're found at the ends of long bones. The thyroid cartilage is hyaline cartilage. The cartilage going around the windpipe, the tracheal rings, and in the nose, the nasal septum. The elastic cartilage, this is the uh, helix of the ear. The external ear is quite flexible. The epiglottis that closes off the windpipe, directing food down the esophagus. And then the eustachian tube, which is in the ear. It helps to equalize pressure when you're changing altitudes, like taking off in a plane. Really important. Okay, we've done this one be, uh, before. Fibrocartilage compared to hyaline cartilage. Hyaline cartilage is type 2 collagen fibers, whereas fibrocartilage is type 1. F comes before H in the alphabet. 1 comes before 2. Fibrocartilage is the thick, whereas hyaline cartilage is associated with degenerative joint disease. Not so thick does not form thick bundles. Elastic cartilage has more elastic fibers. Okay. When we come back, we'll talk about the skin.